Hello and welcome to part 4 of my February 2014 update. Getting along with these videos slowly. Did film two yesterday which I haven't put up yet but they'll be up with this one. Was going to do some more but couldn't find my two spare camera batteries and the battery of my camera had gone flat. So I still need to find those other batteries. Which means that you haven't done any more videos till today. Hoping to get the rest of February finished off and some of March as the backlog is getting even bigger by the day. So I'll start with these uh, eight titles this time, around the seven which I did in the last video. These are all DVDs. Uh, some of these I picked up in FOP when I was in there in February. I traded some DVDs there, got about £50 of credit. There's about 20 of them that did. They didn't want so what about 70 quid otherwise so i'll use that to get some titles and i picked a lot of these uh, ones up so the first one is a soda films release and this is the light thief and there's all these about three or four quid each and this is directed by Acton Actan arim kabat Here's the synopsis of that. A lot of interesting films released by Soda Pictures. As I mentioned in a previous video, mainly do DVDs. There was a few more there that I might have got, but I wasn't sure on them, so these ones look more interesting. Let's so pick these ones up. Nothing special about these, just a normal disc and no artwork inside. Next one is Treacle Jr. This one's got uh, making our feature and deleted scenes on there. It's a British film. It's like right, Annie Gillen, who's in the wire. There's the synopsis of that one. And I'll tell you, these look interesting. I did check on Amazon some of them just to see what sort of reviews they got before I picked some of them up. The other one I showed, like Thief, doesn't seem to have any extra features on there. I'm not sure, I didn't say there's any on there. Yeah, I'll, just leave, I'll do the soda one first because there's a, about four of them. Next one is The Boss of It All. This is a comedy by Lars von Trier. Obviously, uh, more for party people are familiar with those films. And some of his earlier stuff. This one has got some special features on here. And there's the synopsis of that one. So it sounds again sounds interesting. Took a bit of a punt with some of these, but for three quid you can't really go too far wrong. That's the boss of it all. Next one of these, I think there's only four of these actually. And this is Screaming Man. And there's that. So it's got some special features on there. So, some interview on there. And um, making of. This is. French film, well not actually French, it's a uh, African film but it's in French. I think it's, uh, what does it say, Chad, that's where it's, uh, that's where it's set, I don't know if it'll see, uh, make that, probably would be, but there's that one. I think that's all the ones for the pictures there, I might have some more but I'll do those in another video if there's any more of those ones. Next one is a Monster Pictures release and this is Muir House the true story behind Australia's most haunted house so it's a horror film looks low budget but it does look okay from the back of there again this is, this is one that I was at I tend to buy, I bought, buy stuff from because I know what the sort of films they release so do say blind by quite a few of these, but 
not been disappointed with any ones I've bought so far. It's got a commentary by the director and the lead actor, and a documentary about the real life haunted house. Don't know how long that is, with a 10 minute documentary or 50 minutes. Might watch this one tonight. I want to watch Hunger Games tonight, but it's about two and a half hours, I might watch this. So in 82 minutes. Your house. Next one is the latest, well, not the latest one because I've had one since then, but the latest one for February of the Evening Studios Rarities Collection. This is volume 10. Again, two disc set. It's got Saloon Bar, The Divided Heart, Let's Be Famous, and His Excellency on there. Again, just the usual uh, synopsis inside and the two discs, two films on each disc, and then there's the details on the back. It's got 1939, 1954, 1952, and 1940. With, with these release, I didn't know, didn't know at the time, I've, I've found out since that uh, Network licensed a lot of these films from Studio Canal, which meant they finally got releases and they're coming out in these sort of collections and also part of the British film range which this is part of but this is four films rather than individual film releases so I have got volume 11 which I'll show you in uh, March video and volume 12 and 13 of are up for pre-order nothing more announced since then but I'm assuming volume 14 there is one will be up for pre-order soon these come out once a month by the way and there's going to be another one of the British musicals of the 1930s coming out soon as well. So that's the Singing Studios Rays collection. These are all thin cases, even the Blu rays they release in this are all the same size cases, the same artwork on the side. Next up is an 88 Films release, and this is Robot Wars. There's the artwork there on the back. It does have a reversible seat, which I'll show you in a moment. And it does have some extra features on here. I think this is part of a three part film series. I think this is probably part three. I'll just. Oh, it's fun trying to get these sleeves out. And there's the alternate artwork. Again, the back's the same, but there's the other side of it. I think that works alright, but I think I prefer that one. But I will leave the one on there that came with it on the front. This one doesn't have, like with the arrow ones, they have reversible artwork on the back. Doesn't have the age rating on it. Does on the spine, but it doesn't on the front artwork. And the back of that is the same as the back of that. And the final one is a third window films release, and this is a boomerang family. Again, like with the Ian Studios, it's one release of these a month of third window films, either a DVD or a Blu ray and DVD. And there's the special features. If you're a big fan of, as I've mentioned in previous videos, if you're a big fan of Korean or Japanese cinema, then this is a label who you'll probably find quite a few films that you'd like to watch. And just a regular disc in there, nothing too special. Some slightly different artwork there. But yeah, that's uh, part four. I've got probably another part one part or probably two parts of normal uh, Amray Blu-ray DVD releases to show and then there'll be a couple of videos of still books and that'll complete February then I'll finally get on to doing some March videos so as usual please rate comment and subscribe and until my next video thanks for watching